This video is going to be very helpful for low end PC if you want to boost your FPS and get the zero delay in Fortnite. And guys to prove it I went from 100 FPS to 300 FPS on my this Nvidia desktop. So guys make sure to watch this whole video for getting the same exact results also on your PC. So guys make sure to subscribe and drop a like and let's get straight into over this video. Gear Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best program for rerouting your network and help you to connecting with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys let's start from the basics so guys in the very first step we are going to disable the core isolation and optimize our windows graphic settings. So for that you need to go for your windows start icon and search for core and open up the core isolation settings. So guys go for it and simply turn off the memory integrity from the settings and turn off the core isolation. After that now close out of this window. Now next for the windows graphics settings you need to again go for your window search, search for graphics and open up system graphics settings. Now you need to go for this default settings and under there you will find out change the default graphics settings. So open up this option and from here you need to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and turn off the variable refresh rate and also turn off the optimization for the windows game if you don't use the windows full screen while you're playing the games. So once you follow the settings now simply close out of this window. Now for the next step we are going to reduce the number of processes running on our PC and that will also reduce our CPU usage. So for that right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager now you need to go for startup apps option and from here you need to sort it it from the high to the low so click on the startup impact and this will sort it your application from high usage to low usage so now from here select all this application one by one and disable all this application from here therefore it cannot run on the startup so for disabling any application you need to go for your any application click on the disable button and disable that application from here i have already disabled the unused application from my pc after doing it now you need to go for the service tab now press onto the any service and press s from your keyboard and to find out your system main options so guys scroll down and find our system main so guys right click here you need to go for the stop button and stop the status from here after that now scroll all the way down and find out windows xbox services so guys also stop all the services from your pc simply right click and stop these services from your pc so guys now the next step we are going to do some advanced optimization for our windows so for that you need this optimization folder you can find out the link in the description simply go there and download this file on your pc so guys once you open up this file you will find out additional tweaks fortnite purity RAM optimization and Windows optimization. So open up the first folder and now you have to install all these files on your PC. This will optimize your Windows registry to getting the best performance out of your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, your network and every single component. Simply double tap here, hit yes, hit yes again and click ok and guys this is completely safe to use all this optimization on your any PC or laptop. So now go back, go for the next folder that is your Fortnite priority. I need to set it onto the Fortnite high priority for getting the maximum performance out of your every single hardware from your CPU, GPU and your RAM. After that now go back, now go for the next folder that is the RAM optimization. So go for it and now from here you need to choose here the size of your RAM installed on your PC. So mostly people have 8GB, 16GB so guys I have also installed 16GB of the RAM on my PC. So double tap here, hit yes, hit yes again and click ok. After doing your RAM optimization, now go back, open up Windows optimization folder and inside you will find that boost PC responsiveness, disable power throttling, game optimization, GPU tweaks, memory optimization, reduce input delay, wake up sleeping calls and optimize your Windows UI tweaks. So guys you need to install all these registries on your PC, again it is very safe so guys you don't worry about anything, simply double tap here, hit yes, hit yes again and click ok and do the same step for all these optimization. So guys once you follow it now let's go for the next step and in this step we are going to optimize our NVIDIA control panel settings. So right click on your desktop and open up your NVIDIA control panel. Now from here in the very first step you need to go for use the advanced 3D settings therefore you can use the manage 3D settings inside our NVIDIA control panel. So enable this option after that go for manage 3D settings and now from here you need to follow every single settings on your PC which I'm going to show you. So go for global settings, go for image scaling, turn it off, ambition or collision, Turn it off, Antistropic Filtering, Application Control, anti living FX, AA, set it onto the off, Gamma Correction, turn it on, anti living Mode, set it onto the Application Control, anti living Transparency, turn it off, Background Application, Max Frame Rate, 
down it off Kira GPUs set it onto the all now go for Kira GPUs is main fallback policy set it onto the driver default DSR factor turn it off now go for low latency mode click on this drop down and set it onto the ultra for having the lowest latency or input delay in Fortnite or any other game max frame rate turn it off under technology G Sync is compatible now scroll down and find out OpenGL GDI compatibility set it onto the auto OpenGL rendering GPU click on this drop down and set it onto the Nvidia whatever GPU you are using now next go for your shadow cache so go for it and select the highest number available inside it so that is the 100 GB so now scroll down go for texture filtering quality go for it and set it onto the high performance now scroll all the way down and there you will find out this kind of the vertical sync so guys go for this option and set it onto the off after doing all these settings click on this apply changes button and apply the settings inside your nvidia control panel after doing it now you need to go for your display settings and under there you will find out adjust desktop size and position so go for it now go for this set a scaling Set our scaling mode and set it onto the full screen. There we can get the full screen. Whenever you are using the stretch resolution, you will get full screen on your PC without having any kind of the black pass on the side of your monitor. So guys, set it on the full screen and again click on this apply change button. So guys, now the next step, we are going to disable HPET on our PC. So for that, right click Windows Start icon and open up Device Manager. Now you need to find out your system devices. So click on this drop down of that. Now find out high precision event timer. So guys here we got it right click here and disable the device from here and guys this will help you to fixing the high cp usage and that will fix your fps drop status and give you more fps in fortnite so guys after doing it now simply close out of your device manager so guys after doing all the optimization on your pc now you have to one time restart your pc therefore all the things properly take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of it i hope so you love the optimization so please make sure to let me know in the comment below and see you again in the next video